Yo, what up, my name is Derek, and today I'm going to be talking about the comparison video that I was going to make about the Windows 10 ISOs. Now, before I get into this video, I do want to say that I'm sorry for not uploading for like a week or for a couple of days. Uh, I've been doing this testing, and this testing kind of um, kind of unfortunate. Those things happen, GGOS problems. I had everything tested pretty much on Wednesday, but I couldn't really do anything and make videos any other three week because I didn't have all my, all my programs installed because I was waiting for GGOS to be installed or be out there because there was performance issues, so I had to wait for that. Um, but besides everything else was tested perfectly fine. I got everything done by last night. That's why you're seeing this video being recorded on Friday morning. Um, but anyways, like I said, I'm going to push this video out as fast as possible um, as soon as I get this out. Um, but let's talk about this. So what Windows 10 ISOs did I test? So I tested Fox OS, GGOS, Atlas OS, Pablo OS, Ghost Spectre, Revision or Revi OS, uh, Nexus Lite OS, the Gaming Edition, and then straight Windows 10. Now, the reason why I put Windows 10 in here is because I wanted to show you guys the difference in terms of latency, FPS, processing gigabytes, and all that stuff compared to these custom Windows 10 ISOs. Now, keep in mind that my specs are different than your specs, so these results will vary depending on what your specs are looking like. So, I want you guys to really emphasize on that too, because that is a very important thing. Um, but yeah, another thing too is that each one of these ISOs is a different version. Not every single one is a different version, but some of them are. So Fox OS is 1709. So when I show you the results, the latency is actually a lot lower in Fox OS because it's an older version. 179 is known to be a very low latency um, Windows 10 ISO. So a Windows version. Um, and GGOS was 20H2. Atlas is 20H2. Pablo OS is only 1809. Um, 21H1 for, is for Ghost Spectre and for Revi and for Windows 10. And then I guess the Nexus was 20H2. Now, each one of these, uh, I think um, I think Atlas has a 1709. Maybe I could be wrong. I know uh, I know Ghost Spectre probably does, but I'm not going to test that. Revi I know does. I would assume Ghost or Nexus does as well. Um, the guy actually told me in my Discord, I think, I think, it was, I think it was 1809. Let me check that real quick. He said he was working on 1803. So that's the version he's working on right now for uh, the Nexus. Now, let's get into these uh, results. Actually, before I do that, I want to say what games I tested because people were kind of wondering what games I was going to test. So the games that I tested were Valorant, Fortnite, and Apex Legends. Uh, I was thinking about doing other games, but testing took a I feel like it took a lot of time, long time. So I just wanted to limit those games because I feel like those games are pretty popular and are really popular, and I think those are the main games being played right now, okay? Um, and how did I test these? So each install, I installed the Windows. I then installed the NVIDIA driver, so 457.30, using NV Clean install. Now, I understand there's other Windows, there's other, um, there's other drivers that, are, that might be better or whatever. If you have a different system, you might want to use a different driver. I made a video on that. Um, I also did the NVIDIA control panel tweaks, just the default tweaks. Um, I checked the processes in gigabytes on each computer before I installed my programs or before I installed like the uh, softwares for each um, game. Uh, and then I did a ran, I did I ran a uh, latency test using latency mod for a minute, and I recorded the average uh, process latency and the DPC latency. Uh, I then installed the games on my computer. Now for Valorant, I did a shooting range practice for one minute against bots. Tested that for a minute, shooting a bunch of bots for a minute, sitting in the same spot. For Val or for Fortnite, I bench I did had a I had a benchmark map that I ran for a minute. Well, that's been always my test that I've been doing um, for Fortnite benchmarks. Um, Apex Legends, I did a firing range for one minute. Now, the thing about Valorant and Fortnite is that each one of these has a different like result on every ISO. It's kind of like okay, this one has good for Fortnite, but it's not that good for Valorant. This one's better for Valorant, but not good for Fortnite. Some of them do that. Some of them don't do that. Um, but Apex Legends, for some reason, Apex Legends was was the same on every single ISO except Fox OS, and I'll get in, I'll show you the results on that too in a second. Uh, final thing, I just want to tell you my get my specs because I have never told you guys this. Uh, my CPU is an Intel Xeon twelve forty V two at three point five seven gigahertz. It's a very old system, um, so just keep that in mind. My my RAM is sixteen gigabytes of DDR three, and then I have a ten sixty three gigabyte three gigabytes version. Now let's get into these tests. So this is the process in gigabytes in the task manager when I installed them. Um, you can see Windows 10 is the highest with Ghost Spectre up there, but everything else below that is pretty 
pretty uh, optimized pretty well. So you have Revi, um, GGOS, Atlas, Nexus, Fox, and Pablo all at the lowest numbers. You can see Fox OS and Pablo are at the lowest there. I hope I'm saying Pablo right. I don't know. I think I'm saying that right. Um, you can see they have the exact same process in Gigabyte to use. Um, now, processes isn't a very good, I mean, it's not a good measure, but I mean, it, it does seem like the lower the better. It's always the lower the better. Um, then you have gigabytes is also pretty low too. Now, let's talk about the next one. Oh, that's not that one. This one. The average latency that I tested with these. So you can see I did latency mod for 60 seconds, as I told you before, and you can see that uh, Windows 10 is the highest, but not by a lot. You know, when I was doing this test, oh, one thing I got to keep, I got to remember. Um, the power plant. So what I did with power plans is each one of these came with their own except a couple. I think there was only two that didn't have their own power plan. And so um, I had to actually use an, a power plan that was, if they didn't have a power plan with them, all I did is I went to Windows and I did high performance. That's it. I didn't import ultimate performance. I didn't import the same power plan in each one. So keep in mind that might affect these latencies because I know for a fact that when I had Ghost Spectre, I didn't have a power plan installed, and uh, the latency was so bad. And then I did power plan; latency was a little bit better. Or was that was the number that you're seeing right here? So you, as you can see, Windows 10 is the highest with the Nexus up there. Um, Ghost Spectre Revive. Now, there's not really that big of a difference between latency with when it comes down to all of these, but you can see GGOS and FoxOS really are the two that are a lot different than the rest. Um, the fact that GGOS is 20H2 and has that low latency compared to the rest of these, which are 21H1 or 20H2, so it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Um, but as you can see, Fox OS is the lowest. It's kind of obvious though, Fox OS is the lowest, like I said, because it's 1709. Now, keep in mind these settings were like you could tweak probably your computer and get lower. And also, none of these power plants had idle disabled. Essentially, what idle is, if you don't know, it maxes out your CPU to 100%. It increases your temperatures and all that stuff, but it, it can lower your latency like a lot. So I didn't have that enabled on my computer just because I didn't. Well, I, you're not going to use that in all time when you're playing games. Um, but yeah, let's go into these the Valorant test. So for Valorant, as you can see, I did 1080p, low settings, and then the practice against bots. Now, when it comes to the test, the best games or the best OSs was Fox OS and Pablo OS for, for Valorant. Now, one thing I will say right now, um, some of these tests might be different, like when it comes to like 1% lows or 0.1% lows, because um, there was two of them that I had to use um, MSI Afterburner because Cat Frame X wasn't working, so I had to use MSI Afterburner to test. Um, oh, yeah, that's another thing too. MSI Afterburner, um, I didn't overclock. The only thing I did was I did power limit all the way up, I did my fan, fan configuration, and then I did the um, core voltage, I cranked that all the way up to 100%. So keep, just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I mean, the numbers that you can see right here are all are all different. Um, box, I mean, you, you look at some of these games and the, or some of these OSs and they're different than the others and they, they don't really make sense, but um, if you're a person that plays Valorant a lot and you want the best for Valorant, best for Valorant, maybe go with Fox OS. Like I said, compatibility is not great for Fox OS, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I'd recommend more Pablo OS over Fox OS if you're trying to figure out more co compatibility with an OS. Um, you can see the FPS is pretty much the same. You can also optimize. There's probably a way to more optimize better for Valorant. I have a video out, it, out for it, but you can probably increase your FPS even more using a different OS, maybe like GGOS if you want to use that. Um, but the next game would be Fortnite here. So I did 1080p low settings, 100% quality setting. If you know what that means, it's like a 100% like ticker in the game. So I usually have mine set at 82%, but I for the test I did 100%. I also had performance mode on, performance mode on, and then I did the benchmark map as you can see. Now for the best FPS for this one is also Fox OS. I think Fox OS is the best for all of these, but that's also because it's 1709. So keep that in mind. Um, you can also see that the 0.1% lows are pretty bad on Fox OS. But like I said, I didn't use Cat X for those, so keep those keep that in mind as well. Um, but you can see GGOS is really good here. Um, so is Atlas OS and Nexus. Um, but you can see the other games, the other ISOs like Windows 10, Pablo OS, Ghost Spectre, and Revive weren't very good testing Fortnite. So 
Uh, it's actually kind of insane the difference you see here. Um, but uh, this is Fortnite. Let's do Apex Legends, which is the final game here. Now for Apex, as you can see, the numbers are pretty much the same. Take that 0.1% low for Pablo out because I don't know why that did that. I don't think it was supposed to be like that. But just look at these numbers. You look at Revi and Fox OS for some reason. Where I didn't even know Fo Revi. I don't remember looking at that one. But Revi and Fox OS were really good for, for Apex Legends. But you can see the rest of the OSs for Apex Legends were pretty much around the same. Right? I mean, you look at all these numbers. You had a better performance on Windows 10 than Nexus. Which, you know, all these are really subject like you could easily change the settings i know apex settings you can easily optimize it better and go through the settings and do a ton of testing and get like custom like auto uh execs and, and, and uh, configs you can install that can improve your fps as well so just keep that in mind um also apex legends at least for me maxes out my cpu and gpu so that also might be why the performance is about the same on every single uh computer um but this is, I mean, this test is, you know, all these tests were done in the same environment, in the same computer. They were all in installed on the on uh, the same drive and stuff like that. And uh, so, yeah, this is what they look like. And that is pretty much the video. Now, in conclusion to all of this, <sighs> sorry for that, the best Windows 10 ISO out there, in my opinion, is probably just going with GDOS, right? You look at some of these OSs and they're really good for one game and not so great for other. Like look at, um, look for instance, uh, Revi, right? Revi is not great for Fortnite, right? We go back to Fortnite. Revision is a 143 compared to the 160s that you get to for the other ones. And then you go to Apex Legends, you have Revi at 114, right? So that's, that's why I'm saying if you play a specific game, just download that, um, oh, uh, the ISO for that specific game. Like if you play Apex, download Revi or download Fox OS. Um, if you play Fortnite, download Fox OS if you want to use that. Or download Atlas, GGOS, or Nexus, right? If you play Valorant, download Poblite or Fox OS. You can see that the numbers are always different. Now, one thing I'll say, like I said, Atlas and GGOS, I think, are the two best out of this one. Next one's, Nexus is really good as well. Um, they all are pretty like similar throughout all the testing. Um, if you look at you know, Nexus, Atlas, and GGOS. Fortnite's about the same, and same with Apex. They all are around the same FPS. Um, and you may be wondering, why aren't I talking about Ghost Spectre more? Because Ghost Spectre is mainstream. Everybody knows about it. It's not that good. It's really not. It, it, a lot of processes. The latency is pretty high. Um, it just doesn't feel smooth to me. When I was testing that, it took forever to test it. Uh, one thing that sucked too is Windows 10. Oh my lord, it took forever to put it on Rufus. To go through Rufus, it took at least 30 minutes for that, and then it took another 30 minutes to download the goddamn uh, ISO because it takes forever for Windows 10. I also made sure Windows 10, by the way, was updated all the way to the max too. So before I tested these, um, but yeah, like I said, which ISO would you go with? It's either GGOS, Atlas OS, or Nexus. Those three. Like I said, I know people are gonna be like asking me, what is the best one? I know you say these three, but which one is the best? The best, go with GGOS. If you don't know which one, if you can't choose, just go with GGOS. Like I said, if it comes down to latency, GGOS is one of the lowest if you want to come to all of those three, right? It's lower than Pablo, or it's, it's, it's lower than Atlas, and it's lower lower than Nexus by pretty big margin. So just, I would say go with GGOS. That's just the best bet. And like I said, you can optimize your your computer more than what I did. I didn't, I barely, I didn't even optimize it at all. It was just base install with NVIDIA control panel tweaks. That's it. That's literally it in the lowest settings of a game. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, if you have you guys have any questions in the in the comments, I will answer as many as I can. Um, this test did take a decent amount of time, so I would love a like on this video and I would love a subscribe. We're almost, I think we're at 99 subscribers while I'm recording this video. We might have hit 100. Let me do a quick check whether or not we hit 100 subscribers. We are at 99 still. So, one more subscriber, we're at 100, 100. Um, thank you guys, honestly. I, I can't believe this is even happening to me. Honestly, I was, the motivation, um, I, I honestly thought this channel would not do anything, and here it is, actually doing something. So, it's actually kind of crazy. Um, but anyways, if you guys, like I said, if you guys like this video, just please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be I'm gonna be making a ton of different videos next week. Um, I don't know if I'll upload a video Saturday and Sunday, depending on if I can record a video today 
couple videos today. Um, I think I should be able to to have videos out Saturday and Sunday. Um, next week, like I said, we're gonna we're, I'm gonna try to daily daily upload every single day of the week from now on. Uh, I'm gonna try to. Uh, if I don't, that means I don't have a way to record that day, or I didn't have a video out for that day, or I just couldn't think of an idea for that day. Um, but yeah. Hope you guys liked the video, and uh, peace out.